Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my weekly makeup basket. I haven't filmed one of these in about two weeks. The reason I didn't do one last week is because I just didn't wear enough makeup. I think I only did makeup on one day. The reason being for that is I started a new workout routine and I'm exercising five days a week right now and I just, I don't know, I didn't feel like putting on makeup just to work out and I've been feeling really tired, low on energy because it is week three of my new workout routine and I just wasn't really motivated to put on makeup but I did wear a lot more makeup this week and I wanted to show you guys what I've been wearing for the past two weeks because technically I pulled some of these things out two weeks ago. So let's go ahead and get started as always with the palettes that I pulled out this week. For those of you who don't know, I like to share what I use for the past two weeks as opposed to a shop my stash where I'm showing you guys what I'm going to be using for the next week or two weeks or month or whatever. So the palettes that I pulled out and I've been using these for two weeks now is this like Too Faced little trio. This was part of a holiday collection. I want to say maybe two or even three years ago and it pretty much has three little palettes you have the peppermint mocha the eggnog not latte and the gingerbread cookie what i tried to do was use one of these palettes at least once so the gingerbread one my favorite shade in here was this ginger snap one which is this beautiful gold shadow and i actually really really like the bronzer in here too i use this a lot as a transition shade even for the other looks that i did not using this palette this one i did a little bit more of like a simple look i'll try and insert a picture if i have it but i did a very like simple neutral i don't think i played around with this shade uh down here but i still really like this palette it still smells really nicely when i did my eyeshadow um collection and declutter the palette one i talked about how i was pretty much going to keep this palette for like a collector's purpose but i still wanted to bring it out and play with it because i haven't really used this palette in a while so then I use this palette I think I wore this one in a video this is the eggnog one and I did kind of like a greenish look so I wore um, Central Park on my outer corner it worked okay it took some building up I really like uh, the skinny latte shade and the eggnog uh, latte shade I think that's the one that I wore all over my lid it, li it is a little bit chunkier not as smooth as the um, the gold one I did have to put a base on top of it but it still worked worked out really nicely some of the shadows in these palettes are kind of hit or miss for me and that's really the case with this one this is the peppermint mocha palette this is what I'm wearing all over my eyes today and I really wanted to do some type of like purpley toned uh, pinky look with this this shade right here sprinkles is the one that disappointed me the most it looks really really nice but it's just not very pigmented and it's difficult to actually get this to transfer on the lid so at first I was going to do this one all over the lid with some type of base underneath and I think that may have worked out a little bit better but it just I don't know it kind of let me down and then this Christmas blend one is the one that I have all over my lid today this one was kind of tough to work with too I basically had to go in with a cream base and then I, I laid this down all over the lid but it still wasn't what I wanted it to be so then I went in with some fix plus on top of that and try to kind of amplify the color a little bit and it just it wasn't really working I put a little bit of peppermint mocha on the outer V I really tried to constant like I had to basically go back in multiple times to build this color up and I even used Mac fix plus I think it came out okay but it wasn't really what I wanted I wanted it to be a little bit more purpley a little bit more intense but the blush in here Santa baby this one was the blush that I wore the most with several of the looks I really really like that Santa baby blush it's just a really pretty like peachy pinky blush and I don't know if I talked about the other blush in peach cobbler this is a little bit more peach than Santa baby but I think I preferred the formulation of Santa baby uh, just a little bit better but it's still a really nice blush so Overall, I really enjoyed using this palette, pulling it back out, playing around with it. I know it's no longer available to purchase like off of a major retailer, but I see these palettes all the time on Poshmark or Mercari. So if you're really interested in picking up that palette, you know, I think I think it's pretty easily available on those like makeup de-stash sites or whatever it is that they're called. So 
I use the bronzer and the two blushes in there. That's all I really use for cheek products. And then I use the bronzer that's in the in my current project pan. But I actually only pulled out highlighters as cheek palettes or as cheek products this week because I had the two blushes and I didn't really feel the need to pull anything else in. And then I had two bronzers to use this week. So I have four highlighters for you guys this week. I absolutely love highlighters. I don't know if you guys have seen my uh, collection and declutter series for highlighters, but I have a lot of them so I really enjoy kind of pulling out a new highlighter for every single eyeshadow look that I do. So the highlighter I'm wearing today where actually this is what I'm wearing on top of another highlighter today. This is from Dose of Colors and it's their baked highlighter in the color Pearl Dust. I believe these are discontinued. I picked this up off the Dose of Color website but I'm not sure if it's still available but like I said you can always check one of those like dish dash um, sites. This is a really pretty pearly pinky highlighter. It is a baked formulation so I guess you could wet this to intensify it but I just am just wearing this right on top of the highlighter that I'm wearing um, underneath it because it was a little too subtle for me and I just wanted to kind of give it a more pinky look and kind of make it pop just a little bit more. So this is what I'm wearing. Also also in my inner corner highlight. I love this one. I also have the peachy version of this um, and I really really do like these highlighters. Oh, let me talk about the one I'm wearing underneath it. I picked up this Laura Geller Baked Highlighter Duo in French Vanilla and Golden Rose. I know they have another um, duo with French Vanilla, like French Vanilla and Portofino. I used to have that one in a mini and I really didn't like Portofino. I thought it was a little too chunky, but I heard this one in Golden Rose is really, really nice. And it is. It's a really nice, subtle highlight. French Vanilla is definitely more of a, I don't even want to say satin finish. It kind of is like the Laura Mercier like matte radiance baked highlighter. That's what French Vanilla is like. And I'm um, sorry, I keep forgetting the name. Golden Rose has a little bit more of a sheen to it, but still not like glittery or bam. So I wore both of these swirled underneath and it gave me a very soft, highlighty look. Swirled together it kind of gives the same effect as the Essence Pure Nude highlighter. So if you like a very subtle, a very nice everyday highlighter that's not chunky, it gives a really really nice sheen to the skin. So that's it kind of mixed together. Really really nice sheen to the skin. It's not going to emphasize texture. It lays really nicely on the skin. You can even wear this under or on top of a cream highlighter. If a cream highlighter is gonna make it kind of stay all day and pop just a little bit more. I really love this and this is actually on sale or was on sale at least for 50% off on Ulta. I really like this product. So another highlighter I pulled out, this is the Ambient Strobe Lighting Powder in Incandescent Strobe Light. I don't really care for this uh, formula that much. I just have a mini of it. It came in one of those like Sephora favorites kits. There was like a highlighter kit. Um, it, this is actually kind of nice as a semi-subtle highlighter. I think on me it's a little bit more like apparent on the skin because it is such a light highlighter and especially when I have a tan is when this really pops on my skin tone. But I definitely wouldn't call it like metallic or intense or anything like that, but I don't know. I just really, I really don't care for this highlighter formula. There was another one that they came out with like the metallic strobe or metallic something. It's like a palette that they came out with. I prefer the formulation of that, but I still like using this every so often as some like a subtle type of highlight. The last highlighter I pulled out, this is new to me. This is the Balm Bonnie Luminizer. This is the newest addition to their Luminizer sister highlighters. This one's a little bit deeper than the Mary Luminizer and I really love the Mary Luminizer but I wanted something that was a little bit deeper. I tried the Cindy Lou and it's not really a highlighter. I've tried the oh I can't remember what what the other one is. The Betty Luminizer and that one is a little too dark. That's more like a shimmery bronzer. This one is absolutely stunning. It's kind of like a golden peachy highlighter. In my opinion, it's not as intense as the Mary Luminizer, but I think that's because of the undertone. So this one definitely has a little bit more like peachy gold to it. Same consistency, it's very soft, um, doesn't have chunks of glitter, but because it's not that like white, 
champagne-y color that Mary Luminizer is, it's not gonna pop as much, but you can wear a cream base underneath this. I think this is really nice. Wait till the bomb has a 50% off sale. I waited for them to have a, one of their flash sales that they have every couple of months and pick it up. I wouldn't pay full price for this highlighter definitely wait for them to have a 50% off sale. So last but not least, let's talk about the lip products that I was wearing this month. I have um, one lip product and two combos. I pulled out this Bare Minerals Gen Nude Under Over Lip Liner. Um, this is in the color, I'm sorry, this is the freestyle color. It's this really nice kind of brownie nude color. I like pairing this with pretty much any lipstick. It's a very creamy formula. I hadn't pulled it out in a bit, so I decided to pull this one out and I paired it with this. This is the Too Faced, one of their La Creme lipsticks in the color Naked Dolly. And I'm kind of trying to finish this product up because it is a little bit on the older side in my collection, but it has a little bit of a sheer finish to it. So when I put this over that lip liner, it gives you like a really kind of glossy nude look and it kind of deepens up this color just a little bit so I really like wearing those two together I think I may have like another month or so with that lipstick left I'm gonna continue to consistently use it just to use it up I like the La Creme formula they're very nice hydrating but they do move around a little bit so I wouldn't really pick up a dark color in that because they are very emollient and they like I said they do move around a lot on the lips so one of my favorite products this week was actually this Huda Beauty liquid matte lipstick in the color bombshell I think that I also got this as part of a Sephora favorites kit that's the color right there it's this really nice peachy noon and I really like this one I paired this one with a lot of the eye looks that I did this week because it was just kind of the perfect go with a lot of eye looks type of color and the blushes in the palettes that I use this week or the past two weeks had a, like peachy undertones and I actually really like this formula it's a very liquidy formula which kind of surprised me it's very very liquidy um, but it dries relatively quickly it's very comfortable it doesn't get overly dry I really really like this and I actually also paired this with that um, gen nude lip liner every so often and last but not least the combo that I'm wearing on my lips today this is from Colourpop it's one of their lippy pencils and it's the I don't know if I'm gonna say this correctly the I love Sarah -y or something like that um, collaboration in the shade Mamacita and this is just a really nice like vampy kind of purpley plum color and I wore this as my lip liner and I did kind of like an ombre effect and I put the violet vault Milani lipstick uh, just on the center of my lips and then I kind of blended it out. This one is kind of an odd lipstick. I don't know how to describe it. It looks like it's going to be much more deeper and much more purple, especially when you look at it um, in comparison to the bullet. It looks like it's going to be a very like deep purple, but it's actually more of like a pinky purple, like a bright pinky purple. And it has a little bit of a metallic sheen to it. I don't even know if I would call it a like metallic lipstick. It's as metallic as I would go. It kind of makes the lipstick look a little bit glossy. So it definitely has some type of like iridescent sheen on it. It kind of flashes a little bit in between like a pinky purple and a blue. It looks really cool. I really love these Milani lipsticks. They're nice and hydrating. They last on the lips all day. Even the matte formula is very comfortable. They last on the lips all day and they don't overly dry out my lips so I think these are great lipsticks from the drugstore I have a lot of them I love wearing them and I hadn't pulled one out in a while so 